All right, well, I was at the grocery store a little bit ago and I got a notification uh, from Mind Your Decisions. Some of you will be familiar with that channel. Um, it says, if you can solve these logic puzzles, you are a genius. And I thought, well, logic puzzles, that's kind of my thing is puzzles. So um, I should try these puzzles. So I haven't actually watched the video or anything yet. Um, I was wanting to kind of just do it live. So um, I, I don't I don't really like reaction videos and this is not a reaction video, but I am going to kind of watch the beginning of Precious, Precious Tallwalker, I believe is how uh, that name is pronounced. Anyways, the Mind Your Decision video, and then see if we can solve the puzzle. So, all right, so I got the video pulled up here. Um, I, I'm just gonna play the beginning to see what the puzzle is, and then I guess I'll pause it and we'll try and solve it. Uh, I'm sure Presh is going to go through and explain how to solve them because that's how this channel works. So I'll leave a link in the description to their video as well so you can see their proper explanation because I may not do it properly. I'm just going into it cold and I'm going to try and solve it. So definitely check out their video for the, the proper explanation. They always do a good job. And um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to try and solve some of these puzzles um, kind of on the fly. So uh, let's see. I'm, I, I think I've got it. So you should be able to hear the video. I don't know. I'm not used to doing this kind of stuff. So hey, this we'll see is how it goes. In this video, I will share two really nice logic puzzles. Puzzle one. Okay, two puzzles, so here's the first one. You have a code that requires a pin of four digits. Okay. The pin uses four digits from zero to nine. No two digits are the same. You are given the following clues. One, two, three, four. Two numbers are correct, but in the wrong Okay, this position. is gonna be like mastermind Three, four, five, or like uh, Word Three 500 kind of thing. Correct, but okay, in the so. Wrong positions. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead here to that to learn right spot. How to solve this. There we go. Okay. So I think that is the the full puzzle. Uh, so let's see. Hopefully, I've got the sound set right. Hopefully, I don't know if I'm doing this right. The sound may may be bad. I don't know. Hopefully, this works. But so we've got one, two, three, and four. Two numbers are correct in the wrong position. So if you wanted to think of it like Wordle, basically two of them are yellow. Um, three are correct in three, four, five, six. So we know at least one of three and four is one of the correct ones in one, two, three, four. Uh, five, eight, nine, oh, nothing is correct. So the five is not correct. So the three numbers in three, four, five, six that are correct must be three, four, and six. Therefore, the three and four are the correct ones from the one, two, three, four. So there's no one, two, there's no five, there's no eight, nine, zero. So unless there's a duplicate, oh, no two digits are the same. So there's no duplicate. So it has to be three, four, Six and seven have to be the four digits. Now we just have to figure out where they are. Um, two, three, zero, four, two are correct. One's the correct position. Well, there's no two and there's no zero. So the three and four are the correct ones. Uh, if the four was in the correct position, then the four would have been in the correct position at the top here, and it's not. So the three must be the one. So the three is second. So there's, what did they say? Three, four, six, and seven. Three, four, six, seven. The three is in the right spot there. Down here, two numbers are correct. Well, there's no two. And there's no one, so the six and the four are in the correct position. So it's six, three, four, six, three, four, seven is the answer, I believe. Let's see. If we skip ahead, I think we can find. So there's a big explanation. Yep, just like I expected. Uh six, three, four, seven. There we go. That is the correct answer. So um you can go back and I think I did it correctly, but you can you can watch um mind your decisions. Uh, video and uh, see what the correct way to solve it is if there's a better way than me um, and if you solved it and you know let me know how you did with it I'm gonna look at number two I don't know if the second one's supposed to be harder easier if there's any difference in difficulty but I have a three by three grid one of each number one to nine is placed in a three by three grid you are given the following clues here we have a three by three grid where the rows are four five blank blank three six and one blank blank. Four numbers are in the correct columns, okay. but same kind of thing. Squares. Okay. No numbers are in the correct rows. You're given another clue. Blank blank three, blank blank blank, two four blank. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of again skip ahead to where we have the whole puzzle. There we go. Okay. So, because uh, I think I know what's going on. So. Four numbers are correct columns, but incorrect squared. Okay, so in the correct columns, which is interesting. Not necessarily the right rows. Two numbers in the correct columns, but incorrect rows. Okay, so if the three, we've got the three in two different places in these two. 
And, ah, well, okay, I was going to say we know one of those two, at least one of those two is wrong, but even better is look at the last one. No numbers in the correct columns. The three is in the last column. So if the three is in the incorrect column here, then clearly it's in the incorrect column here. So the two and the four are in the correct columns in the middle one. The two is on the left, the four is in the middle, which therefore means the four is not in the right place on the first one because it's supposed to be in the second column. It can't be in the first column. So... From there, we can say the 1, 3, 5, and 6 are in the correct columns. So we've got the 1, 3, 5, and 6 in the correct columns. The 4 goes in the middle. Um, and so then the 2 or the 3 is also... No, we said the 3 couldn't be correct. So the 2 and the 4. Yeah. So the 2 and the 4, the 1, 3, 5, and 6, those are all the correct columns. Um, none of these are the correct rows here. One number is in the correct row here. Uh, so, well, we know the three doesn't go in the middle. Um, one of them is in the correct row. We need to figure out the rows. <clears throat> so either the three is at the top or the two or the four are at the bottom. I don't know. This is probably easier if you're writing it down. I'm going to try and do it in my head. Uh, the first one I was able to do in my head pretty easily. So we know the two and the four are in the correct columns. Well, so so we know the four, right. So we know the four is in the correct column, right? Here. Uh, oh, but I don't know how that helps. Okay, well, anyways, we've got the four. The th five and the three are in the correct column. So the five, three, and four are in the middle column. Um, the four, so the four, because it's in the correct column, it can't be in the correct row because it would be in the correct square, right? So the four is not in the bottom row. The four is not in the top row. The four is in the middle. The four is in the middle of the grid. The four is in the middle of the grid. Um, I feel like here, let's, let's just to help me explain this. Let me pull up an empty grid. All right, there we go. I've just got an empty three by three Sudoku grid here. So I, I think it'll be easier for me to kind of say what I'm trying to think because um, I'm seeing it in my head, but it's hard for me to explain. So I, I know the four is in the middle because um, we knew the four was in the correct column uh, in this middle grid here. And we also know that one of them is in the correct row, but the incorrect square. Well, since we know it's in the right column, if it was in the correct row, it would be in the correct square. So it can't be in the bottom row. We also know that, oops, oops. <laughs> I played the video on accident. There we go. Uh, we also know that none of them are in the correct row on this first one. So the four can't be in the correct row at the top. Therefore, the correct row is the middle. So the four goes in the middle of the grid. Okay. And then from there, we know the three and the five are also in the middle. But again, in the first box here, none of them are in the correct rows. So the five has to be at the bottom because it can't be correct at the top. So the three goes at the top. So we know those. Now the one, the one um, is in the correct column here, but it's not in the correct row. So the one goes in one of these two up here, right? And we know five numbers are in the correct rows here. Well, we know the four is in the correct row. What do we know about the others? We don't know yet. Okay. So, um, and we know, we know the six is in the correct column over here. The six goes on the right. Um, so the six is on the right. The one is on the left. The two is on the left. The one and the two are both over here. Ah, we know the three is in the correct row in the middle, right? We know the three is in the correct row. So the two is not in the correct row. It is not at the bottom. So the two is not at the bottom. We also know the one is on the left, but not at the bottom. Same deal. So because none of them are in the correct row on the first one, the one can't be at the bottom. And because the three is in the correct row and only one is in the correct row on the second one, the two can't be at the bottom. So these are a one and a two right here. Um, so we know the seven is not in the correct column. The six is not in the correct column. So the seven and the six go on the right. The nine, so eight and nine. This is an eight or a nine. Um, which one would it be? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Okay, eight and nine. Uh, well, if it's the nine, the nine is in the correct row. Oh, we know the three is in the wrong row. So the other five have to be in the correct row. So the nine is at the bottom. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's right there, but it could be. 
The nine is at the bottom, one of these two. The six and the seven are over here. Um, and we know that they're in the correct rows. We know they're in the correct rows. So this is seven and six. This has to be the nine. This is the eight. And then the one and the two, the one has to be in the correct row. So it goes like that. That should be the answer, I believe. Let's um, let's check and see if I'm right. They're going to go through uh, an explanation. And there we go. Two, three, eight, one, four, seven, nine, five, six. That's what I had. There we go. Very nice. Okay, cool. Um, so if you like these kind of puzzles, by the way, this is not not sponsored or endorsed or anything. Uh, I just happened to get the notification and decided to look up the video here. So go check out Mind Your Decisions. I've, I've seen a bunch of their videos before, and they have lots of interesting puzzles. Um, some of them hard, some of them easier. Uh, it just kind of depends. Good mix. But yeah, let me know uh, if you tried these two puzzles, what you thought of them. And go watch um, Presh's explanations and see if uh, you know it was better than my explanation. I was just working through it um, on the fly there. So let me know if you'd like to see me do more of these kind of puzzles in the future, if you have other logic puzzles you like to see me do. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more puzzles of all kinds.